Santa Fe, New Mexico, rich with history and mystery and, and just intrigue. Today, Patty and I are going to visit the Laredo Chapel, and we're gonna tell you the story behind the Laredo Chapel and ask the question, do you believe in miracles? I'm standing on the altar of this chapel that was built in the 1800s, almost 200 years ago. And we want you to come along and hear the story of what happened here. Whether your background is religious or spiritual, do you believe in miracles? That seven nuns had a school for girls. And when it was time, they built a chapel. In the chapel, they had a choir loft. After building, they realized there was no way to get from the chapel up to the choir loft. As the story goes, the sisters of Loretto felt that they couldn't get up to the choir loft problem was just a test of their faith. So what they did is they performed what they call a nirvana. And that is a very, very deep prayer. And they did it over nine days. On the 10th day, the sisters' prayers were answered as a carpenter showed up at the door and told them that he could build the staircase. He only had one request, that he do and build the staircase in complete privacy. The sisters agreed to this, so he worked around their schedule in the chapel as he was building this magnificent staircase. Now, more mystery to the story? This carpenter showed up with only a mule and a little cart, a T-square and some basic tools. This staircase is an engineering marvel. If you look at the staircase, there is no center column like most spiral staircases are made. It only is supported all the way at the bottom step. Now these 33 steps and two 360 degree spirals are a marvel that engineers today can still not explain. They even took a wood sample from the staircase and tried to identify the wood. There is no wood of that nature anywhere in the United States. Well, the United States that is here. The closest place that they can find a relative of that wood is in Alaska. Again, all of this leads me to wonder, do you believe in miracles? This morning has been just an amazing experience. This chapel was built almost 200 years ago. But as you heard, the story of the staircase was probably the most miraculous part of the whole story. So let's just tell the story from the beginning up through so people can just recap this in their mind. In the 1800s, the bishop of this area commissioned that this chapel and this school be built and the nuns of Laredo actually had a girls' school here. Right, so after the chapel was built, they saw this choir loft that was too high for them to get to. Now, the, the chapel itself is kind of small, so a traditional staircase just wouldn't fit in there properly. And the nuns, well, they just felt it was a test of their faith, so they started praying for an answer. Right, and an answer they got. They prayed for nine days. On the 10th day, a gentleman showed up with just a mule and a few simple tools, and he said he would build the church with one caveat. That he had to work completely alone in private while he was building this incredible staircase. And the nuns readily agreed to that. Absolutely. He worked while the nuns were not around. It took a long time to build the staircase. Nobody really knows exactly how long it took. When the staircase was finally finished, the nuns wanted to thank and pay the carpenter, but he was long gone. Disappeared, nobody knowing his name, where he was from, or who he was. Now, let's bring this up to present. The engineers, the, the 
architects today look at this staircase and they say it should not be standing. As soon as weight gets put on any one of those stairs, it should collapse. Right, because it had no nails to keep it together, no glue, no central point. It was just 33 steps with two 360 rotations. Now, that is just an absolute marvel. But let's take one more mystery of this maybe miracle. The one more mystery is they've done a core sample of the wood. And they have found that the wood that this staircase was made of is not indigenous to this area at all. As a matter of fact, the closest relative of this wood is found in Alaska. So there's still a mystery. They tried to see if there was a purchase order for wood to be brought in. They, they looked far and wide. They knew that the carpenter could not have brought it, the wood, because he only had a mule. So still a great mystery. Lots of mysteries surrounding this incredible staircase. And as we leave you today, I'm just gonna show you the best shot that I took of this staircase and leave you with the thought process of, is this a miracle? Do you believe in miracles? From Santa Fe, New Mexico, with my incredible wife, Patty Hunt, I'm Dan Hunt saying, have a great rest of today. And an even better day tomorrow.